Morning, everybody. Uh, we just completed a very successful issue conference here in Baltimore. With everything that's at stake in 2016, we've been talking about how do we go on offense on ideas and how do we make sure that we offer the country a very clear and very compelling choice. They deserve that. We want to earn their trust by offering an agenda that fixes their problems. Because if we do not like the direction the country is going, and we do not, we have an obligation to offer an alternative. So starting today, we are beginning the work of developing a bold pro-growth agenda. This agenda is going to focus on five areas. First, national security. Americans are very anxious right now, rightfully so. How do we go about making sure that we are secure here at home? How do we go about building a 21st century military and make sure that we are equipped to defeat ISIS and the threat posed by radical Islamic terrorism? Next, jobs and economic growth. Our economy, our economy is far from reaching its potential. Wages are still stagnant. Families are still hurting. People are working harder than ever before, but they feel that they're slipping behind. How do we fix our tax code? How do we rein in the regulatory state? How do we maximize our energy potential? Third, healthcare. Obamacare has taken us down the wrong path. Higher prices, higher deductibles, fewer choices, restricted access. How do we re not only repeal this law, but what solutions lead us to lower costs in a truly patient-centered healthcare system? Fourth, Poverty and opportunity. There are 46 million Americans living in poverty today. What solutions will help get people out? Right now we have a safety net that is designed to catch people falling into poverty when what we really need is a trampoline that gets people out of poverty into lives that they want for themselves. How do we get them back in the workforce? How do we restore upward mobility? And the last piece of this, and it's so critical to all the others is restoring the Constitution. We are a country founded on an idea. And our rights don't come from government. Our rights come from God. Our rights are natural. And the Constitution is this beautiful system of rules, a beautiful system preserving liberty and freedom so that we can exercise those rights, so that we as people are sovereign and free. How do we restore the Constitution? Because the President's executive overreach has undermined the Constitution and it has damaged the people's trust. People more and more do not trust our government and it is because we have deviated from the Constitution. So what do we need to do to restore the separation of powers and protect our constitutional liberties? These are critical questions. These are the ideas that we will be advancing. We will work with our colleagues through our committee-led task forces that means every member and their constituents will have a chance to provide their input. I expect that we will have a complete agenda by the time that we have a nominee. Look, this is nothing short of a generational defining moment we are in. The country is crying out for solutions. The country is crying out to be unified. The country is crying out for a positive vision that brings us all together. We want a confident America, and now is the time to get to work.